freckles is a cute touch. Now for your brows, I suggest tinting them to be darker. That way you can have clean, full brows even with no makeup on. I'm adding mascara to bring out your eyes and make the green pop. Your nose is already cute, so I'm skipping over it. Lastly, I'm just going to use lip liner and a pink lip tint to make your lips appear larger. Here's the end result. Look at that difference. If you want to glow up but don't want to post yourself or only get these useless comments, you can get a private makeover from me, link in bio. A piece of advice. Don't let one year from now you wish that you started a year ago. Start now. So this is what I look like uh, two years ago. And here's the most recent pic I have of me with makeup on. Here's some things that I did in order to change my appearance drastically. I lost weight and I did this by intermittent fasting and literally 15 minute hit workouts at home every single day. I got clear skin. Well, it's not really clear. It's not completely clear. Like I still have some bumps, but it's enough to be covered up by makeup. And in order to do this, you need a specific skincare routine that uh, caters to you. TikTok helps a lot. All you need to do is just search up your skin type and the type of acne that you have, and then you can get specific products in order to cater to your skin. I also figured out what colors and what makeup looks best on me. This is basically like looks maxing, but like for women. For example, I have a wide face, so I decided to highlight the parts like right here in order to bring out my face more. And I also did some facial exercises. If you guys want a part two, let me know and I can give you a full step on how I glue up. Looks maxing for women will always work. Good morning, cuties! If you're in your healing girl era, let me show you how I make my magic green juice potion that makes me feel less depressy in the morning. Cause this gave my skin the ultimate glow it deserves. Cause I had the shittiest month last July. I was literally crying myself to sleep every single fucking night. And my skin was at its all-time low. So this morning, I woke up and decided to gaslight myself. Sad girl Jazz was such a loser. She really needed to get her shit together and come back to her bed. That bitch self, yeah. So I decided to make a quick grocery run. Which, by the way, no one talks about how grocery shopping as an adult could give you so much freaking anxiety. My mom always buys the fruits and veggies. So today I realized I'm a 24-year-old who does not know how to tell if a fruit and veggie is fresh. Does that look fresh to you? I knew it. <laughs> so apparently my mom told me it's not fresh. People make mistakes, bro. I fucked up. So I have to run to get a new one. And also, I'm not scared to admit that sometimes I can be a dumb bitch. I legit had to Google, is celery salandry or how to tell if a lemon is good? Do you even know how to tell if a lemon is good? What's that? What's that? Uh-huh, I didn't think so. I digress, my bad, I got carried away. So this is the recipe. One cup of water, a handful of fresh spinach, one celery, aka salandry, thick chop. One green apple slice. Um, no, is this gonna even fit? Eh, that's what she said. <laughs> Half a lemon squeeze. Half a cucumber. And lastly, a small piece of ginger. I'm not a fan of ginger, so I'm putting very little. And I like to add a little bit of honey. And we're ready to blendy blend blend, boy. I just realized that this is the nearest power outlet, so here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, no freaking way i forgot to put this on let's get it go and we're done sis i swear to god this is one of the best juices you could make for a glow up thank me later okay i love you always bye what do you want what do you want it's not that simple what it's do you want god damn it what do you want Call me when you want, call me when you need, call me in the morning, I'll be on the way. Call me when you want, call me when you need, call me in the morning, I'll be on the way. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ozzy. I get asked so many times about Ariana Grande's glow up transformation from beautiful Disney princess to Hollywood glam. I'm not her doctor, I've never treated her, this is just my professional opinion, but I think she's had three things done responsible and contributed to her glow up transformation. Number one, I think she's had a rhinoplasty and nose drop because her nose looks thinner, more lifted. I think she may have also had some fillers in her lips to make them a little fuller, a little bit more pouty. I think she's also had some chin work because if you look at her photos in the before, she has more of a masculine jawline. Whereas in 2018 photo, 
she has more of a heart shape, so more feminine shape to her face. And I think the chin work, maybe an implant or chin fillers, has contributed to that. Nevertheless, she's beautiful. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ozzy. Let's talk about Bella Hadid's glow up transformation. She just celebrated her 24th birthday and Insta storied all about it. I want to remind you, I'm not her doctor. I've never treated her. This is just my opinion, but let's start with her foxy eyes. She's definitely had some Botox to lift the brows, arch the brows, and some thread lifts to make that accentuated foxy eye look. Rhinoplasty to slim the nose, lift the tip, and give it a little more definition. And some cheek filler, jawline filler to give her that chiseled, contoured, monolesque look. And last but not least, a little lip filler for a fuller, more luscious pout. Nevertheless, she was beautiful before and beautiful after. Okay, so I used to look like this. <gasps> right now, I look like this. And I could stop here, but I want a six pack. You guys know I'm on my six pack journey right now and I am not stopping until I get my six pack. But if you wanna know what took me from that to that, listen up, I'm about to put you on. This right here, Oxy Shred. I know you've heard about Oxy Shred, but I'm about to give you guys the cheat code. This is good all by itself. They are a force when they are together. This right here is acetyl-L-carnitine, and I don't know if you ever heard of acetyl-L-carnitine, but basically, it takes your fat and turns it into energy. These two together, you will be in the gym with so much energy, so much focus. Listen to me right now. If you wanna go from that to that, you need this. Now, you're not gonna just wake up one day with a six pack, no, babe. But when you take these, you will be unstoppable in a gym, okay? I used to hate cardio. I was not doing cardio. I didn't care how good I could possibly look. I wasn't doing it. It's boring. I don't have the energy. I used to do 10 minutes. These two, I'm up to an hour. Don't play. If you want to snatch that waist, you wanna shed some pounds, you wanna get right for the summer, if you have an ex to stunt on, babe, you wanna bag you a baller, <laughs> these two. I would never lie to you, and I would never steer you wrong. You need these. If you're on your six pack journey, if you're on your tiny waist journey, supermodel season journey, whatever you are on, let's do this together. I'm grinding every day, and by the time summertime comes, you will never see me. Because it's gross stuff, but it tastes good when it's put out together. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Onions, garlic. Onions, garlic, celery, balsamic vinegar. Tomato paste. That's a big word for Elmo. In a shirt. Ever. If you want to get you some Oxy Shred or Acetyl L Carnitine, visit ehplabs.com. Use my code NIANA, N I A N. Hey. Hey. All right, see you guys later. I just love when people say, oh no, you don't need Botox and filler. You don't need it. I don't need it because I get Botox and filler. So let's go over all the areas I've gotten Botox and filler. Here's my before and after if you want a little reference of what it can do for you. Starting with my forehead, you can't really tell, but I was starting to develop like a faint little line on my forehead. So I started getting Botox in my 11s and my frontalis muscle, as well as my crow's feet. Cause again, in this picture, you couldn't really tell, but I was getting these fine, tiny little lines in my crow. Another thing that I did that's a game changer is I did laser hair removal on my hairline. As you can see, my hairline was like going into my eyebrow. I did under eye cheek filler. Lip filler, of course. I added filler to my chin to make more of a V shape. And the biggest difference is placing Botox in my masseter muscle to slim my face out. Here's another photo right now with no makeup for a better comparison. What if I wasn't?